everybody. How's it going? Hey, I postponed my uh, financial ninja appointment because I had a headache and I had to do some Energize Go uh, and another re another product just to uh, help with my headache. The Energize Go will help. And I decided to break my fast and eat something because I was tired. Oh, I don't need these in. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so anyways, that's coming up in a few minutes. So I'm just going to give you a quick update because after this, I've got to take a break because... You can just keep me in prayer. Um, long days, like, and just tired. So I'll take a break the rest of the afternoon. Maybe watch, like, silly romantic movies or something. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so um, I'll hope th I hope this is a little bit different, but let me see. Um, Samson, per KTFA, Iraq is the fifth in the world in oil reserves, the cheapest to extract and the most profitable. The oil reserves in Iraq and Saudi Arabia are close to the surface on the ground, which makes access to oil more accessible and the extraction process more cost effective and more profitable. And then Mark Z. Barani's visit to Baghdad to follow up on agreements, including the legislation of the oil and gas law. Why is this important? This is a first this is a first that the Kurdish region is showing clear indication of wanting to work with the Iraqi government. They are getting along. They are agreeing to budgets. A major sticking point to not seeing our RV or RI has been disagreements between these factions. I'm excited to see them all getting along. Me too. Classification to the Iraqi Central Bank regarding the reasons for the decline in sales of the foreign currency selling window. We were always told that the auctions would slow down or nearly end just before the RV. Parliamentary finance is likely to approve next year's budget at 150 trillion dinars. Don't worry if they are passing it with a lower rate on the dinar. I am told that is unimportant. They will simply do the conversions on the value. The big key here is they are moving forward and looks poised for acceptance. Um, Pimpy, the World Bank basically laid out what it is Iraq needs to do to get their ducks in a row. If they can do that, then they will see and they will see an increase in the value of the Iraqi dinar. That's my dog, Roxy. She's here to say hello. It's a Sunday afternoon and, uh, I'm helping as many people as I can, guys, uh, pray this thing in so we can all have a liquidity, right? Um, Okay, Roxy, I need my hand. I need my hand. She, like, wants my hands on her, so I'm going to do this. See, look, I'm going to do this while I, I'm going to rub her while I talk to you. Uh, this is Caperoni. The only way we can see a significant increase in the dinar would be based on the growth of Iraqi's economy. Therefore, they need to pass laws and create a suitable investment environment. Doing so would then allow them to float their currency and allow the world to determine the value of the dinar based on this economic success. As a result, not only can the dinar go up in value, but they can gradually remove and reduce the currency in circulation as well. Um, I'm using my left hand, so it's a little bit harder. Militiaman, what we are witnessing now is the final effort to sort the two seats in the PM cabinet in the 2023 budget draft getting from the Council of Ministers to the Parliament. The reconciled 2022 numbers will likely need to be held close until the last minute for, if not, it would likely leak out quickly, and that is to be avoided per legal issues. Again, it's illegal for them to tell us ahead of time. Uh, Sandy Ingram, the, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, received on Tuesday the ambassador of the United States to Iraq. You will need to read between the lines to understand the importance of this meeting. During the meeting, they discussed aspects of bilateral cooperation and keeping pace with the global development in the banking sector. This news report, more than any in recent months, points towards real progress. Amen. And then this is somebody else. They say the budget will be in Parliament by the end of November, the first part of December, which is now, which would be great. God's been saying it's now, so hopefully this is lining up with that. Frank said the goal is to have it in by the 9th of December. That'd be pretty now-ish. What do you think? Comment down below. Do you think the 9th of December will be good enough for you? <laughs> I think it'd be good enough for me. Um... And the banks in the United States of America know that, in my opinion. If we do see an announced government by the 9th and January 1st has a great potential for what we've been waiting for. Firefly, the finance minister, comes out and says there is no change in the rate as of now and says when the new budget comes out, it will also not happen. That's what the finance minister is saying. He said, we don't know what in the world this person is talking about because yesterday they said the opposite. We know... They can't come out and just say they are going to have a rate change. That's illegal. So we try to read between the lines. Frank says, bravo, what an advancement in attitude. He knows his laws. Um, 
There's my dogs. There's my puppies. They're so nice. I just want to give you a puppy break on a Sunday. They're so pretty. So pretty and so nice. And both rescues. So if you need companionship, rescue a dog. They, they are worth it. They will give you back in love everything, right? They're God's belt backwards. So anyways, it is my personal, Judy, Judy note. It is my personal opinion. It appears reasonable. The notification of tier 4B, which is us, the internet group for exchange and redemption appointments would take place after a big event where the mainstream media satellites were taken down and the emergency broadcast system came into effect on the new Starlink satellite system. There was only a handful of military intelligence people who would be informed of when liquidity release would actually occur. And they weren't talking. The date would be decided by the quantum computer and based on safety issues. Any other dates given by the intel gurus or others were pure speculation. The next few months were promised to be full of turmoil. I've been asked to publish. Again, she's reasserting she's been asked to publish her restored republic via GCR update only on Monday through Friday with none on the weekends. That will go into immediate effect. Special reports will be published only under certain circumstances. Um, and then this was Mark's the last time he did one. Uh, everybody's hearing good things are coming. Uh, Mark Z said, parliamentary finance is likely to approve next year's budget at 150 trillion dinars. Don't worry if they are passing it with a lower rate on the dinar. I am told it's unimportant. They will simply do the conversion on the value. The big key here is they are moving forward and looks poised for acceptance. Mark Z, in the first contact between them. Al Sudani and Putin stress the development of bilateral relations in various fields. Many are not happy with this. BRICS, they're referring to, is happy at this and we are happy with this because it could break the globalist banking grip. Amen. Mark Z, and from earlier this week, UAE and Saudi Arabia joined BRICS and that will be game changing. And we are seeing that now with Iraq in open talks with the BRICS nations, MZ, clarification to the Iraqi Central Bank regarding the reasons for the decline in sales of the foreign currency selling window. We were always told that the auctions would slow down or nearly end just before the RV. In the rumor section today, Mark Z, um, I have received a number of cryptic messages about Monday. I heard from an IRS contact I have not talked with in nine to 10 months. He reached out to me and said that something big was coming on Monday and they don't know what. They are being told this inside the IRS management. It could be that the new Congress will not be giving them the 887,000 new IRS agents. That is just speculation. But we were told to expect a major amount, announcement. We don't know what it will be interesting. Um, sources in Reno and Miami are pretty, pretty quiet today. Zurich, Hong Kong, and Shanghai had nothing to add this morning. Um, and Mark Z says he does not have a group that has received money, but there are still bond people completing tabletop transactions, tabletop transactions. The trouble is I do not know the value they are getting or whether they got the full value or the resellers are jumping the gun to pay them and then reselling them later for a profit because they're under NDAs. Once they go, they're under NDAs. So good one here. Ghana is ditching the dollar for gold. They are now using gold for international pur purchases. They are using gold to buy oil and energy. They used, they used to use the U.S. dollar for those transactions. So this is another country where millions or billions in transactions will not be using the petrodollar. Many countries have done that recently, which is really not good for the country, yet good for those of us invested in foreign currency, which is part of the wealth transfer, guys. While everybody else is struggling, God is transferring wealth from the wicked to the righteous. So it's interesting to see how God works this out, in my opinion. Um, there's a bunch of members and... You know, we just appreciate anybody who's working to keep us posted. So I, I love all the Intel providers. I, at this point, I just want to thank them for all their work in keeping us up to date and keeping us hopeful that this thing is coming now. Um, I, of course, my Intel source is God Almighty and the prophetic gift of encouragement he's giving me. He's been telling me it's now. So we just all on the same boat waiting. So God bless you. I hope you have a restful Sunday. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Monday on my live. I go, I go live Monday morning. And if you want to see what I was talking about today, about what you should be aware of tax wise and preparation for the end of the year, if you're one of those uh, gig workers or 
you're worried about the cash apps, Venmo and PayPal sending you 1099 Ks. I discussed all that this morning in my live. I will put the link below. God bless everybody. Have a great day. And please pray for me. I have a financial ninja appointment coming up in four minutes. God bless. Bye.